All right, what is up everyone? Uh, another beautiful day in paradise out here. I got some good scrap life vid coming today. I got about 2,000 pounds worth of cast iron in the back of my truck that I pulled out of a house yesterday. And there's about 3,000 pounds more at the house that I'm gonna get today, but I need the trailer because I don't wanna fuck up my truck taking too much weight. But um, I'm cruising now. Uh, at Starbucks about to upload a video and my brother's here too he just pulled up so we're going dual upload the dedication is real you know we come here pretty much every day just to get these videos out for you guys to watch but a um, few things in the works I got three boat motors that I'm getting sold off today hopefully uh, Bretta Murph is making the deal so we're just gonna split the money but they were just sitting around collecting dust for a while so I'm good with the deal, and um, yeah, big big scrap life. Hopefully, I, hopefully I can make a couple hundred today in the scrap game. Um, that's the plan. But uh, I got a package going out to California, to LA, to my boy Virtual. Uh, some prints because he's doing a an in installation in a in a recording studio in LA. Um, but yeah, follow his Instagram if you don't know what I'm talking about already. I got a video of him doing some graffiti in LA on my channel. Check that out if you haven't yet. But uh, yeah, so this is going out to him today. And I got two magnet orders I got to fill. But I'm going to get on that soon. Just been busy. But living the dream, boys. Another day in paradise, fully. All right, boys. Just want to show you the dedication we're, we're working with here. The Google... Starbucks Wi-Fi is, is off right now, so we're, we're hooked into the, the T-Mobile one next door. Um, we still got an hour in here. And as you guys clearly know, time is money, you know, like I'm just burning hours in here uploading this video for you guys to watch, like when I could be out there hitting the street scrapping. So like, this ain't no joke. How long is yours? Dude. <laughs> Tell, how long. Tell how long, dude. 222. Dude, like, like this guy is gonna be here for like the next three hours. This is how dedicated the boys are. And I have to send my surfing video. Yeah, but that, you can't do that today. No. <laughs> All right, got the scrap piled up. Not a crazy amount, but definitely for the boys. That much scrap, I don't know how much it is, but going uh, stock lens today. Cause I was using it for a photo last night and I just I just wanted to check it out you know use it so it's not wide angle just stock 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 for the boys all right we're super close to the scrap yard um, where I just was at the Starbucks is Summers Point and literally over this bridge right here it turns into EHT Egg Harbor Township and then about two um, miles up the road, if that, maybe one mile, hey, it's the scrapyard. So like, it's about less than two miles probably from the Starbucks that I upload at. So everything's in a, in a close proximity around here. Like you don't have to drive far to hit the sash. So like you're not burning gas really going to the scrapyard. It's literally a mile away. This guy in front of me is hitting the scrapyard too. Literally just pulled in. Another beautiful day at the scrapyard here, boys though. Heavy. This is pretty much a well-oiled machine out here. There's an like, auto mechanic type shop over there beyond that Volvo uh, Thaco. They take apart all the cars here, rims everything off, you know, cats, batteries, everything, and then crush them up over here in this crushing machine. All right, so that the cast iron's all right here, and I'm just, I don't even know if I'm gonna film me unloading it, because it's, so wet out here, but we'll see what we can get. So this is what we do, we scan it here. And then the cash comes out, boys. That's how it works. Paid on the spot every time. All right, this is what we got. 54 bucks for the first load. Uh, 7.25 uh, every 100 pounds. 
and there were 750 pounds and there's two more loads similar to that one so give or take 150 bucks just from that one spot so I'm claiming that's good talk pizza 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 uh Pizza 9 to 5 any day, boys. Pizza 9 to 5 any day. Well, I'll just pull back here to go to the post office and there's man scrap in here. Dude, scrap life fully. At least getting these aluminum windows. No go, boys. Plastic windows and shopping carts with plastic tops. Not worth my time dealing with that, but got excited there for a second. Hey, what's up, cute kitty? Hi. Look how cute. Scrap life never sleeps. cruising out we are pretty much in Margate right now about to go to Ventnor and get these radiators uh, I could probably fit everything that's left there because I uh, it wasn't as much weight as I thought there was only 750 pounds in here and I think the capacity is like a ton in this truck so I'm claiming load it up you know two rads and then like the rest of the cast on the outside it just sucks that i might not make it to the scrap yard before four and i got and then i have to sit with it in my truck but you know it's all part of the life it's all part of the game so we out here about to hit the sash hard all right at the spot so this is the claim right now boys cast iron pipes right here um, pretty much all those and then there's two radiators inside I got to cut apart whoa and then that's pretty much it actually I got to check out um, damn they redid this floor nice maybe there's this piece of pipe that fell down yesterday that goes to the dream and then there is another piece right here that I got to cut off and then I'll take it uh, with the dream too and then I think everything else well here's one actually but I don't know if I get to them I'll get to them if not it is what it is but uh yeah, we out here, boys. We out here. Scrap life. Scrap dream for the boys. Alright, back in the gush. So there's one of the rads. And then there's another one. Way back. In here. Which isn't even that big. But, uh, yeah, that's the claim for the boys. You guys might be wondering why I'm wearing a mask. It's an asbestos mask. The plaster in these old houses is usually asbestos, and I'm not working directly with it, but the dust is definitely in the air. It's present, and I'm claiming... Fuck it, you know, fuck the haters. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't. But don't talk shit on the boys for trying to protect their lungs. So, uh, here's this piece. Seemed like it might be still connected there. But, uh, I think we can just saws all that off without dealing with this couch right here. So that's step one. Saws all that piece. And then cut the four bolts that hold it together and then start splitting them and bringing them down.
slowing down. Got the first one in the truck. Now we're going for number two. Cruising up, cruising into the scrapyard pretty much now. Uh, second run today, and I got a late start, real late start. So I'm lucky I'm making it here before four. But uh, I think I got like maybe close to a thousand pounds uh, of cast. So another like 50, 60 bucks, something like that. For the dream, for the fucking dream, boys. It's a nice time of day to be here. No one's here, pretty much. Just pulled right up onto the scale. No problem, no one in the way. No line, no nothing. Scrap live. Harley out here. Look at those pieces. I'm gonna dump this shit, but I'm not gonna get a shot of it. I already filmed one today, so it is what it is out here, boys. That's the claim, boys, 64 bucks. So I made 54, 64, 118 dollars I think is the claim. So not bad at all, just from the scrap life for one day. But uh, I got two more rads that I need to take here, but I'm not going to do it today, obviously, because they just are about to close right now, pretty much. And I'm going to go meet up with Brad and Murph. And he's got 40 bucks for me because he sold off a couple motors that I had sitting that I got for scrap value. So he made 40, I made 40 off of something that would have only been like 15, 20 bucks all together at the scrapyard. So in all in all, I didn't want to deal with selling them really. I put them on Craigslist one time and I got like a couple calls, but like he dealt with like 10, 15 people just to get rid of them for 40 bucks. Like. I mean, yeah, worth it, but at the same time, it's a lot of hassle, and I'm always out doing shit. Like, I don't have time to just, you know, hustle that shit. So, I'm claiming we're both making out, and there's still one engine at the shop, and two more in boxes that I can sell if I ever get around to it. But, um, so 118 plus 40, 158 dollars from the scrap life today not bad at all i'm saying i'm claiming fully living the dream but yeah prices are still you know 725 100 pounds for cast and uh six six dollars six dollars every hundred pounds for light iron and steel's at seven i think or seven and 25 i'm not sure it's in between there but it's all relatively close um for the for the scrap gods all right, scrap life continues. My boy Eric, uh, who hooks me up all the time, you guys have seen him in other videos, um, left an, an AC unit, big one, over here. I think this is the house. Um, it's pretty obvious that it is, 27. So this is it. This thing's so big though, boys.
scrap life is so heavy out here, boys.